Father, we thank thee for this food, thy blessings. And we ask you to watch over us in these crazy days. Amen. Amen. Hey, Walking Dead fans, welcome back to the channel. Let's go over a little bit about Rick Grimes' brother. And there is a spoiler alert to a comic, one-off comic, called The Alien. But that's just in the comic. There's never any mention of his brother in the TV show. But let's look at a little bit about the comic side and how it could play into the show side. But I'm getting this from a ScreenRant.com article as far as just the idea for the video and wanting to talk about it to you guys. And I'll put the link to the article in the description below. And uh, I'll also put a link to where you can read that comic online. It, there's just one. It's a one-off comic. And there is a spoiler alert. I'm about to talk about the comic, what happens, and stuff like that. So this Screen Rant article titled Walking Dead, Rick Grimes' brother explained and how he could join the TV show. Um, it's a decent article. It brings it back up. And I thought I'd done a video on the alien just specifically. So I guess I haven't done one, but I know I've talked about it a bunch, especially in, in a couple of videos. But then I just talked about it a bunch of different times or brought it up a bunch of different times in a bunch of different videos. So Robert Kirkman, writing The Walking Dead, he put out this one-off comic, just this side story. And it's Rick Grimes' younger brother, Jeffrey. And he was traveling in Spain. And the reason it's called The Alien is not because of anything outer space or, or anything like that. Jeffrey was an alien inside Spain. So it goes a little bit into the article talking about it, but we have lost a lot of characters. Um, the turnover rate and we're getting to the point, especially if Daryl ends up even by season 12, 13, um, somewhere in there, if Daryl goes off on his own and Carol somehow, there goes all the original characters from the show. If the show keeps going, it will be with people like maybe Aaron and and some of those people. And uh, Rosita may still be there. So, uh, Eugene probably will still be there. But all of the main cast will be gone. And how will people react to that? There is a rumor that the main series could end in season 12, but I don't think so. Scott Gamble says it's going to keep going. Some of the spinoffs could keep going, but right now we've just got fear because the spinoff world beyond is only going to be two seasons. But with losing Carl, we lost Rick. Then we lost Maggie at the same time, even though she's coming back. We lost Michonne now. Um, and in all of that, we lost Jesus and Enid and Sadiq and Tara. And of course, you got Morgan and Dwight leaving the main show and went over to Fear the Walking Dead. And we're looking at a, at least one to two if not more, key deaths uh, coming up in the finale episode that's been delayed, episode 16 of season 10. So the article says, Rick's brother is briefly mentioned in the original comic series as the one responsible for bringing together Rick and Lori, but Jeffrey Grimes doesn't actually appear until the short spinoff, The Walking Dead, The Alien. And that means the comics did mention Jeffrey, that he knew Lori, and that's how Rick met Lori, kind of like that. But the alien set right at the beginning of the zombie apocalypse. Jeffrey is some years younger than Rick and is traveling in Spain when the outbreak starts. Jeffrey learns that Rick is in a coma after being shot and tries to fly back to the U.S. only to be denied due to the quarantine grounding all flights. Does that sound familiar in this day and time? Okay, unlike Rick Grimes, Jeffrey is not a natural survivor and doesn't take particularly well to the end of the world he's bitten by walkers before his brother even wakes up as far as the timeline goes so the article continues while jeffrey dies in the same issue he makes his debut he does encounter and befriend a fellow survivor claudia who is more capable in the new violent world claudia tries to help jeffrey but ultimately has to put him down before he turns into one of the undead before his demise, however, Jeffrey gives Claudia a message to take to his older brother, and the alien ends with a woman promising to head to America, find Rick, and deliver the message. Strangely, Claudia is never seen again, not in the spinoff or the main comic series. So what it doesn't really say there is Claudia and Jeffrey almost get away. They're in the water. Jeffrey gets bitten uh, while he's in the water, I think, and when they get on the boat, he realizes he's got a bite on his leg. And so Claudia puts him down. So when Jeff met Claudia, she saved him, actually. And she was wearing this armor. 
So she takes him back to her place and he's like, where'd you get this? And she said she was a curator. And so she took that once she saw her assistant eating somebody or something like that. So she was in a knight's armor or some of a knight's armor. So the message that Jeff told her to tell Rick, his brother, Tell him his kid brother was sorry he never got to pay him back for all those times he stood up for me. Tell Rick I'm sorry I never got to be the knight in shining armor, but at least I got to meet one. But then Jeff dies before he can tell her anymore. She says, how am I supposed to find this Rick? I don't even know your last name. Where does he live, Jeff? But Jeff had already died. She had to take him out. But she was on her way to America. That is the thing. She definitely was on her way to America. I think she probably got there, but we don't know what happened to Claudia. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that the ninja character is not Claudia. Because remember what I said earlier in the video that the comic is its own universe and the show is its own universe. So just a quick word on how this comic was done, actually. Robert Kirkman okayed it to be done. The story of Jeffrey Grimes to be told by these couple of guys over at Panel syndicate and you can definitely even get walking dead the alien for free because um they're pretty cool people over there they said they've been fascinated by the idea of rick grimes long lost kid brother ever since he was first mentioned way back in walking dead number three so thanks so much to robert kirkman and everyone at image comics and skybound for letting marcos and me finally tell his story and it's brian at marcos at panel syndicate like every project made here at Panel Syndicate, the creators do all the work for free up front, so we only get paid if and when the audience decides we've made something they want to support. All the comics on their site are always available to download for any price you think is fair, including nothing, anytime, anywhere in the world. They've got some other stuff out there you can definitely check out. Pri the Private Eye, they've won some awards on and stuff, and so go check them out. They're the ones that did The Alien, not Robert Kirkman directly, they wanted to do a story pulled from the words and story of the Walking Dead comic. His brother was only mentioned, so they were allowed to do this story about his brother, Jeff. But as far as bringing the brother somehow into the TV show as a character, that he survived or something like that, and I think the article talks about it a little bit, it would be crazy kind of to that just suddenly appear and I don't think that's going to happen at all so you're probably not going to be seeing Rick's brother in the TV show or anything or the movies or anything really um, I don't think um, one thing the article does go into is that Rick's boat was uh, there by Oceanside or something and he was spying on his kids and stuff but I think in prior videos if you've watched uh, the theory or at least mine anyway is Rick wasn't on the boat that was Jadis Rick's a prisoner and he's wherever, behind some walls somewhere, and maybe Philadelphia or somewhere, a prisoner. Uh, he wasn't on the boat itself. But it is interesting as far as the comic side of things. Rick had a brother and his fate and what happened to him. And that there was that uh, at least that character out there, Claudia, that we could have seen for whatever reason. She figured it out. You know, um, if she had came back to America, it's not like everything was hunky-dory here where she could just look him up, you know everything was gone to shit here as well so it had been hard as hell to find rick grimes so that's very interesting and if you want to follow those links definitely do so to find out some more information we do have though those mysteries happening it's who who is that ninja character is it maggie is it mercer who is it you know and a new character totally new character mercer would be a new character a bunch of questions on that, and I'm wondering if they'll even answer that in um, the episode 16. Um, Greg Nicotero, the director, did say that there will be a lot of story arcs throughout that happened through season 10 will wrap up in episode 16 that were season 10 story arcs. So that's people's story arcs and what was happening and themes, like possibly even the Whisper War could end if Beta's taken out. Um, the whole thing, Maggie coming back, the letters and all of that, uh, part of C Carol's story arc, um, talking to Maggie and then Maggie coming back, the radio thing with Eugene and meeting Commonwealth, all of that story arc playing out. So, yeah, a lot of story arcs should end up kind of playing out, even though it's uh, some of the story arcs playing out 
uh, Eugene meeting Stephanie finally is actually the beginning of a, a much bigger story arc, Commonwealth. Let me know what you think about it all in the comments below, and I will join you there. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more dead stuff. Well, I guess if this is the first you're hearing it, I know how it must sound. Bites kill you. But then after a while, you come back. <laughs>